A tax abatement is used to lure businesses into a community. The abatements give tax breaks to those businesses. However, they must follow strict guidelines in order to keep them. Terry Craig spoke to a Terre Haute City Councilman about how the council holds these businesses accountable. Terry. The Terre Haute City Council holds yearly reviews of all of its active tax abatements. Every community uses the tax abatement as a tool to draw in new business. In a special meeting, the Terre Haute City Council reviewed all of its active tax abatements. Councilman Curtis DeBond says that they do this once a year to make sure those companies are following the rules of their abatements. And we're making sure that the companies that have received those abatements are uh, staying true to their word. They're, they're doing what they said they would do, what they told us they would do before we granted those abatements to them. Tax abatements normally span over 10 years, giving businesses property tax breaks to help bring them into the community. DeBond says if a business fails to follow the guidelines of an abatement, it could become void. And if there's a significant difference in what they told us they were going to do in order to receive that abatement, we can call them in to explain to us why, why the difference. And at that point, we can vote to rescind the abatement uh, to, to end that abatement if we believe that is necessary. Devon says these abatements are important in bringing jobs to the Terre Haute community. A lot of these places could go to another community because they will get the abatement over in the other community, and that means we'd lose potential jobs here in Terre Haute. The next Terre Haute City Council meeting is scheduled for June 9th. Mike. All right.